How do you feel when your children do chores at home? I bet you feel proud. My mom was born and raised in the Philippines. She had chores going up. She then passed that down to my fourth grade sister, my three-year-old brother, and myself. My name is Ahala, and I started doing chores at four years old. I think all children four years old and up should have to do chores at home. At four years old, I helped my sister clean our room. Now I'm six years old, and my sister still needs help cleaning our room. But now, I have more responsibility. I help set up for meal time. I write before after dinner is over. I help Arthur Grill charge your phone, and I organize the toys in the playroom. Having chores taught me what being responsible really means. It taught me how I can be a positive ripple effect by helping others and how to take care of my stuff. Parents, do you know how having chores creates positive ripple effect? Well, let me show you. One, by teaching your kids to clean the house, you are teaching them to take care of the earth because the earth is also our home. Two, if your children set the table, they will realize how thankful they are for the food, for the food in front of them, and they could want to give food to people in need. Three, tapping the phone and coach less time on the phone and more time with my family. Four, cleaning the floor and coach everyone to eat everything on a plate so they don't spill crumbs on the floor that I have to clean up. Five, finally by teaching your kids to organize the things, it will help them realize which toys they want to keep and which toys they want to give away. It will help them have less clutter as they get older. Parents, less clutter means you will have a cleaner house and the environment will also thank you. Writing this talk allowed me to have a moment of solitude and reflection about what I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for the food my mom and dad makes, my toys, my adventures, my school, my shoes, all of my clothes. And of course, I'm very thankful for my chores. I hope my talk has encouraged parents and kids to think about their chores differently. For example, except for boy chores, I'm going to call them the opportunities, the hardest opportunities for success. Thank you.